all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonder tutorial we're trying to see how to deploy our app right we're trying to see how to deploy a simple app a simple python app either flux or streamlet using waypoint so waypoint is a very nice software created by hashicorp that allows you to be able to build deploy and then release app in a very simple way so in case you don't have it you can check the tutorial on how to install it it's a very simple process now let's see how to work with waypoint and see how to use waypoint to deploy to build deploy and release a flux app so let's check out what we're trying to do so the basic step is that first of all you need your app right you have to, you have to build your app design your app code your app then it can be in like in streamlet or in flux so we'll be trying to see how to work with flux then later on you see how to work with streamlet then you need your requirement.txt file then your docker file so we're trying to see how to deploy using docker so that's why we need a docker file that is the first step the next step is that you need a waypoint ETL file. ETL is HashiCorp configuration language, which consists of all the information and then all the instructions that you need to be able to tell waypoint to be able to build, deploy, and then release. Right. Then later on, we are going to use waypoint, which is going to spin up the server, and then use the waypoint ETL file to be able to build, deploy, and release. So you can build a Docker. You can deploy with Docker, or you can build with Docker in Kubernetes. Any how you want to be. You can also release it to all the various major systems a uh, platform so let's see how to work with this so i just come back again to my terminal which is here right and then if i check it out here there's the app that i have right i have a simple app which is displacify which we built some time ago in the, in the past so we're trying to see how to deploy this particular app so we have our app folder with a template then we have our docker file then we have our requirement.txt file right so that is what we have so th these are the two main requirements right so our uh, app itself our requirement the txt file then we need to work on the next step with the acl so let's see how to work with it so in case you don't have a waypoint you can install it with check the links below on how to install it now i'll just check whether i have it installed already so waypoint i'm using waypoint 1 0.15 is the current version so we're trying to see how to initialize it first then you perform the build deploy and release so i come back to the same location i have and looking at this place i do not have my configuration file my, my waypoint.acl file so i'm just going to go with sudo waypoint the first thing that you need to install a platform right so waypoint install that dash platform is equal to docker so you're using docker as a platform then i'm going to accept tos right to uh, allow us to just to accept TOS, right? I, right, accept TOS. So it's going to first of all, there's I'm using sudo because I'm I'm super user. First of all, going to detect that I've already installed the waypoint server, right? So this is in case it's the first time you're doing it, you don't need this one, right? This is the first time you need it, but I already have it already. So that is why I just showed it to you. Perfect. Now the next step is just to check out and see whether I ha I have my configuration file. So I do not have my waypoint configuration file so i'm just going to initialize my project so waypoint in it right so checking it there is no configuration file this is the step that we are in we are in this step right we have built our app we have gotten our recommend to the file we need to call in it to generate an acl configuration file then you modify them and then you go with waypoint app so in case I, I don't know whether the audio is okay but i hope it's okay we put in it it's going to tell me that it's going to create this particular file here right then if i check it again and now we have my waypoint.acl file so let's open that particular file and then modify them so i've opened it and this is the waypoint.acl file and then looking at it we have let me change it to a better format so i'll go back to terraform tcl from configuration language to help make it clear for us perfect so this is the structure of the waypoint configuration file right acl so this one is going to be the name of your project so mostly it is required that you make it your repository so let's call it as my display c file app right so it's going to be the name of my repository then i'm going to give it the name of my application so i'll make it the same then i'm going to be using docker so i don't need this one you can specify that but let's take it out we don't need this one to make it very simple so we are trying to tell waypoint that waypoint 
build my app using docker and deploy it using docker right so i have to specify the service port to it so let's check it out so I'll specify the service port let's hope it's correct yeah right so i'm building with docker and i'm deploying with docker so i have to change this particular part so i can make the service port let's say 8080 or anyhow you want it to be right anyhow you want to be or i can even leave it without that right so let's make it 8080 or 5000 anyhow you want it to be right perfect so let's save it like that so that is something very simple you are done right now let's come back again so we have our project that is me as it asks for my authentication so we have the project name we have the app application name we are building with docker and then we are deploying with docker so let's save it and go back to so i go back to my location and now we can see it here so if i cut it out so this is this is everything right that we need perfect now let's see how to deploy it so i'm going to go again with sudo we point in it again right to check it make sure that everything is working well so it's going to create and set up our place now to be able to build it you can just go with waypoint board individually or just go with waypoint app so sudo waypoint app so it's going to identify the location pick the docker file and then set up our place it's going to do these three steps you can see that it's building our image putting everything it's going to run our app then it's going to inject waypoint entry point it's going to spin up our process for us right our application it's going to take us take some time the reason it is fast is that because i already have the image that explains why it is fast for us so in case you are not subscribed to this channel you can subscribe and check the links below for more i don't know whether the audio is okay hope the audio is okay that explains why i've not been uploading videos nowadays because my audio is not good nowadays so now it has created a container with a particular from the image right perfect so it's going to give you two different url this is a default url from ashikop right so if i click on this one this is the other one i copy this one here and let's check it out in my browser now it's going to load that particular url for us so it's another app string display file app perfect our app is, has been spinned up this is for the original one right and this is local this is not this is not like general right if i check the version one this version one is the first deployment so if i copy this one and i try that one out it's going to be the version one it's so both, both of them are working perfectly well and i can actually specify the other one so let's t type in something so spacey no let's see matthew hannibal is the founder of the founder of let's see spacey dot i right something like that and then he lives in germany so let's check it out and then glue it submit We're going to analyze it and then give us our result perfect and everything is working as expected so that is how to deploy your app with waypoint right to deploy any flash app with waypoint so the first step is that you just need to have your app itself and then a requirement of txt file and then your docker file right then you need to create your hcl file right you just go waypoint in it it's going to create another one you modify them then waypoint in it again then waypoint app then waypoint is going to spin up your application right it's going to build based on the application that you specify so this is how it looks like let's go back and check it here so this is how the docker file looks like so we are using ubuntu 20 you are setting up the environment you are updating and installing python 3 then you are going to add everything that we need within our app set up a workspace then you're going to install because you are using spacey that's why we are using this particular step here right you are going to download spacey en then you're going to move everything to our app then going to run this particular option using python 3 you can also use unicorn in case uh, uvicon in case you want right so that is a basic understanding behind app now there is also another feature with waypoint that allows you to be able to do everything from the ui so let's check it out i just come back again to this place it's going to be my sudo waypoint ui authenticate right so this is going to spin up the ui for us 
open your browser perfect so in case you want to be able to get it out right you can just go straight away with this option so from here now this is going to enable and authenticate for our ui right so initially when i run this particular option here the first one here the server this particular one it gave us the option of spinning up the server right so you can open the server within this particular port it's always the same port so let's open it here so look at host 9702 it's going to give you this information but you can still move on right i've already authenticated it now you see that all my apps that have this have deployed is there so this placify app is here and then i can see it out so this is going to give me the logs and then the latest deployment and then all of these things right perfect so this is the log so this log you can also get these logs here by going with sudo waypoint logs right if i go with logs the same logs that i'm seeing here right the same logs you're going to see also here right very simple very cool right that is the same thing you can also move into this particular container by going with this option sudo waypoint right then i'll just go with my container so exec bash so this is going to move me into my current container so connecting to deployment version one then here you can see that we have our app here if i check this out this is the app that you are running very simple and very cool right that is how to work with it you can even check the processes everything is working as expected and let's exit from this particular place now after i have finished you can also de destroy everything right by going with sudo waypoint destroy in case you don't want anything right to destroy you can also modify stuff so let's try and see how to modify stuff so i'm going to go back to my app which is this app here and let's modify one of the templates so I'll go back to the index so we have our app here both on version one and version the original one i want to modify this one from here so using spaces name entity and let's add our name there let's see what we're going to get so this is going to be using spaces name entity by jkrs tech something like that right so i'll save it now in case i want to update it i just go back again to the same thing i did we point up it's going to build it identify the changes and then move on straight away and spin up a new one for us so the old one is still running the version one is still running it's going to spin up a different container again taking some time for it to run perfect and as you can see it has given us version two right but the original one not the deployment url but the original one this one if i check it out which is this one right and i re refresh it let's go back so it's giving us this error right because it has the new one has been done but if i check the version 2 which is this version 2 version 2 version 2 i'm going to see our change hopefully we see our change perfect so now the change has been reflected very simple and very cool if i go back to my dashboard you can see that now the new one that was spent is there so we see that we have the second one right this is the second one very simple and very cool so that is how to work with waypoint so thank you for watching this tutorial so the basic idea is that you just need to install waypoint so after installing waypoint you need your app and then the docker file you need your HCL file you can generate it with waypoint in it then you modify them then waypoint in it again then waypoint app then it's going to spin it perfectly for you very simple and very cool so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed so in case you have not subscribed to the channel you can subscribe stay blessed